Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday morning meeting for this end of the sixth week of school. You all have been working really, really hard, and I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Thanks to the teachers and staff of Patrick Henry for doing such a great job. It is hard work, and they're really rolling up their sleeves and getting the job done. So thank you. Kudos to the staff and teachers. Thank you for all that you do. I'd like to thank also the family members, parents, everyone working really, really hard at home, um, doing your part. I know that it's hard work, and we appreciate you very much. We're going to start this morning with our fifth grade VIP speaker, and they are going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and then go into their VIP speech, their very important principal speech uh, for the week. And once again, I'd like to thank Mr. Burke, for working with our students on their speeches. They really put a lot of care and, and work into them, so I hope that you enjoy them, and I hope that you learn something and take something away with you for the following week. So I'm going to turn it over at this time to our VIP speaker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, parents, teachers, students, and staff. I am Everett Glory, fifth grader at Patrick Henry School of Science and Arts. Today, I'll talk about respect, because respect is a very important word. Respect is to honor someone, to believe in someone, and to have faith in someone. Be disrespectful is very rude, and whether you like someone or not, you should still be respectful to them. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, also known by her initials AOC, was a congresswoman from New York, the youngest woman yet to serve in the United States Congress. Another representative was acting and saying disrespectful things to Ms. Ocasio-Cortez, and in response to that, she gave a speech about how she felt about the other representative was saying. The speech had this quote in it. Treating people with dignity and respect makes a decent man. To me, this quote means that no matter what you do, that will not be making you a good person. But what will be making you a good person is treating people with respect. It's one thing to not have respect for someone, but acting disrespectfully to them is another. You can dislike someone and still be nice to them. You can also be nice to someone who's acting disrespectfully to you. Many of us are going through some rough times due to the pandemic, and some may have already been having rough times. So that's why I say, always act respectfully. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderfully awesome day. All righty. Hi, Mr. Litchfield. Hi, everyone. So this is Miss Yaz's second grade class, and we are going to lead the warm ups for the day, okay? So yeah. if everybody's ready, we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do side to side hopping 10 times. So you're going to go side to side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job, you guys. The next thing you're going to do is just slide back and forth. So you're going to go one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Next one, you're going to do, you're going to run back and forth from one side of your screen to the other side. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job, you guys look great. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, we're just gonna do this three times so you don't get too dizzy, but you're gonna turn around and look up. Okay, so you're gonna go one, two, and three. Okay, so we don't wanna get too dizzy. Um, and then the next one is you're gonna hold your leg and jump up and then switch. So you hold one leg, jump up, and then switch legs. And you can turn around if you'd like to too. So that was one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job, you guys, looks awesome. Then we're just gonna do 10 jumping jacks. So we'll do that as a class. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, looks good. The last thing you're gonna do is arm circles. So you'll do five forward and five backwards. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then five backwards. So one, two, three, four, five. Nice job. Uh, I wanna say thank you to my class for all those exercise ideas. Um, those were some great ideas. Can you guys wave bye? Bye. Thank you, thank you for the VIP speech. It was phenomenal. You did a great job and thanks again to Mr. Burke for that. Uh, now's the time to congratulate some students who've been doing an extra specially good job. Um, and these are our kachas for the week. Teachers have been sending me emails and um, these are the students that they'd like to highlight for the week. I have some uh, from Miss Dryling, Autumn Patterson and uh, Natalia Georgievic for doing a morning meeting on saying kind things to others. They have continued to connect with their classmates by noticing things and extending sweet compliments. Maya Robinson for her contagious excitement and joy for being in class every single day. Thank you, Maya. And Jill Jolly for carefully positioning his camera so that I can see his work as he follows along. So to all of those students in Miss Dryling's first grade class, Thank you, thank you for all that you're doing to make her job much easier and um, to also help those students around you. I heard kindness there, which is very, very important. So that will definitely be recognized whenever we see that. Congratulations. These are from Miss Swift's third grade class. Miss Swift has several. Vera and Waverly for always being a few of the first to log on right in time for class to begin ready to learn with their cameras on and their bodies facing the screen. Caden and Claire for always raising their hand to answer a question or share a response. Participation is so important, so thank you for that. Donovan and Margaret for always double checking with Miss Swift that their assignments have been submitted correctly. That diligence and attention to detail is phenomenal, great job. Carly, Cherish, and Christopher for remembering to hop back onto Google Classroom for small groups two days in a row. Great job. Augusta for always being so patient when waiting for Miss Swift to respond to their questions. Miss Cooper for being an awesome community circle leader during the week, getting students interacting and engaged before the school day starts with facts about our favorite fruits in-season vegetables, and stories about animals and creatures that we love. Thank you, Miss Cooper. That's great of you to help out. So I'm proud of all of you from Miss Swift. These are from Miss Yaz. Miss Yaz is new this year, so we're very happy to have her on our staff. Miss Yaz would like to give a kacha to Mr. Will Robinson. Will has done an awesome job participating in virtual learning. He always has his camera on so I can see that he is ready to learn. He is eager to participate during class and shows us what he is working on. He always has himself on mute when he is supposed to and only unmutes when I call on him. I don't think I have ever had to ask him to mute himself because he always remembers. I am so proud of you, Will. Keep up the great work. And um, Ms. Yaz wishes all of us a great afternoon and lots of sunshine today. And after all that rain, that's great to hear. Mr. Schwartz has some kachas. Kabayu Claiborne for always having his homework done on time and being respectful to other students while learning. Great job, Kabayu. For Lillian, always having an upbeat attitude when coming to class. Valen for always coming to class prepared and on time. Tiffany 
always coming to class prepared and excited to learn. Jeremiah works really hard at the YMCA, even though there are a lot of kids there to cause distractions, and he just stays so focused. Mr. Schwartz, you have some great kids in your class. Wonderful. These are from Miss Stark in fourth grade. Miss Stark is recognizing Aaliyah Cheek, Carter Walton, Kaya Baugh, Tiffany Wyatt, Kabayu Claiborne, Christopher Jenkins Lee, Keon Jefferson, Esme Campbell, Oliver West, Beatrix Power, Huxley Carlton, Cayman Frisbee, Carmen Racinos, Malachi Roan, Sydney Beck, Zoe Melton, Tiana Terror, and Avery Maida. Thanks to all of these students for always showing up to class with a positive attitude and willingness to participate and learn. They always give Ms. Stark their full attention and they have wonderful manners. They demonstrate respect for their teacher and classmates by following the virtual rules and they work hard on their assignments. I'm hearing from Mr. Schwartz and Ms. Stark and Ms. Yaz that fourth grade rocks right now. So you guys are really rocking it. Great job. These are from Miss Flanagan, third grade. Kaylee Burwell is early to class every single day. She's always saying good morning and ready to get started. Vivian practices patience and problem solving when having technical difficulties, and she always finds a way to catch up with the class and figure out what she missed. Well, Vivian, I certainly do understand technical difficulties, so we're speaking the same language here. Congratulations to you. It sounds like you're doing much better than I am. Brendan Cole, always participating in class and being so motivated to learn every day. Congratulations to you, students. From Miss George in kindergarten, we have uh, Josie Rodriguez, Ayla Emery, DJ Battle, and um, they're being, uh, Ayla's being used, um, recognized for using her social time to try to get to know students by talking instead of by making silly sounds. She's asking questions. She's calmly telling stories about her weekends. For Josie, she was the helper of the day and her tablet started to mess up but she persevered and kept helping with the calendar, even though she couldn't see people. Great job. For DJ, he's always participating, raising, raising his hand before he unmutes, and he brings smiles to the class. He is using all of the computer controls, including the, the mute, the pin, etc., on his own without the help of his parent. He is a great example of independence and responsibility. Great job, kindergarten, wonderful. Miss Pendleton would like to thank the whole first grade for doing such an amazing job on their very first field trip. They followed directions and stayed on mute during the, the lesson and they asked such wonderful questions. Aiden, Aiden has joined Patrick Henry this year and has caught on to the PHSSA way so quickly. He is so kind to his teacher and classmates and he's always engaged in his lessons and follows, his, follows the rules like raising his hand to share and staying on mute when others are speaking. Angel, Angel is such a great helper. I love to hear that, Angel, good job. Whenever a student or his teacher is having technology problems, he always helps to solve it with them. He shows kindness every day. Pearl, Pearl is such a hard worker. She turns on her Google Classroom assignments on time. She raises her hand to share and is so engaged during story time at lunch. Naima. Naima is another fantastic rule following first grader. She keeps her video on, she stays in her seat during her class time, and she doesn't bring out any toys or any distractions. Naima is always focused and listening during our lessons. For first grade parents, Ms. Pendleton would just like to recognize all of you. This group of parents has been so helpful. We want to thank you all for your help and your patience as we've gotten started this year. We all know that virtual learning for kindergarten and first grade is not an easy feat, and we could not do our jobs without parents doing their part. Thank you for helping your children learn this year on top of all the work you're doing at home for your own jobs. They are very, very lucky kids to have you, and I can certainly echo that sentiment. So parents, family members, grandparents, 
Friends, those of you who are working with our children during the day, I know that it's a tough, tough job, but you are doing a magnificent job, and we appreciate you very much. Well, congratulations to all of you students who are recognized for doing the right thing and for showing outstanding character. We are so proud of you. I am very, very proud of you all. And other students who were not mentioned this week, maybe if you listen to what they, these students did to get recognized and you tried to emulate or copy that, um, maybe we'll read your name next week. So that's a great goal for you to strive for. Thank you all for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.